We have just seven games left in this Bundesliga season and I wish I could say it was still all to play for. We are 10 points off P1 in the league. That league title is looking out of our reach right now, but still seven games if we win them all, other results go our way, we might still have a chance of winning this title, boys. If you believe, hit that like button. It's episode 70. Can we try and get 70 likes? Subscribe if you are new. Check the playlist on the channel to get up to date with the series so far. Season 6 has been electrifying, which is fitting, of course, with this being the most electrifying career mode in YouTube entertainment. But like I say, seven games left, but that's only in the Bundesliga. We still have the Champions League, which we're going to get to today. We play Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga for our first game of the episode. And then we play Bayer Leverkusen again twice in the Champions League. So we're playing the same team three times in one episode, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. And we need to win all three games. <laughs> we just need to win every game from now until the end of the season. Unfortunately, we don't play Dortmund and Bayern Munich again, so we can't snatch points off those two who are the top two teams in the league right now. The gameplay recently has been terrible. I've just been losing my head too much because the game is garbage. I'm garbage at the game. So hopefully today, man, we can just turn it around. Let me show you what I've done actually off camera before we get into the first game of the episode. So we swapped from the 4-3-2-1 formation to the 4-4-1-1 formation. I just feel like this formation makes me a lot more free to score goals and play good football. But also in the like game plans, so in-game in case we're losing anything like that, we need to switch it up a bit. We have the 4-2-3-1 formation, which I've been having a lot of fun with as well in this career mode. This isn't exactly how it'll look in-game. Mehmet Demir will play in that middle uh, attacking mid role, the number 10. He is so good, Mehmet Demir, in that role. But also, we've made another formation. Uh, so swap to in-game in case we need it, which is the false nine. Now, I think it was last season with our cup squad, or it might have even been the season before that. We used the false nine formation for our cup squad. And it was actually really fun to play with this formation. I really like the false nine, how it plays. I've been complaining recently about trying to find a formation to accommodate for Ibrahim and Devo, two strikers. You know, neither of these guys wants to play wide. They both want to play down the middle. But it's hard to find a formation like that, you know, with two strikers. So we've got this one, of course, which is one striker and then the false nine. One of them plays false nine, but the, the wingers in the false nine, because the false nine is a false nine, the wingers kind of act like inside forward strikers, kind of. So yeah, I've tried to do my best to cook up some tactics and formations for us to use. But yeah, let's just stop yapping. Let's stop complaining. Let's get into the first game, man. It's against Leverkusen, of course, away from home. They're one point behind us in the league right now. And I mean, the way this game or this season might end, bro, we might not even get Champions League next year. So obviously we don't really care about finishing top four. My goal for this season was to win the league. So to do that, we just need to keep winning. We're 10 points behind with seven games to go. Can we win this league? It seems impossible when you say it like that. But stranger things have happened. Shout out to 11. Let's get to it, man. Come on. We're going to see this squad a lot. When did they sign Jota, bro? These men are just weird. But yeah, we're going to be seeing this team a lot. They've got Cole Moani, Adli and Jota up front. Reina, Velasco, Rodri and Verts in the midfield. David Alaba, Mark he captains aside with Ede Militao and Unai Simon in goal. A solid bench too. I'm seeing Grimaldo, Frimpong, Lavia. Oh man, we've got to play this team three times in a row basically. <laughs> oh man, let's, let's jump into it. Yeah, if we can clock how they play. It's been a while since we played them last. If we can clock out the play, get their number like a pretty girl at the club, <laughs> then we know how to beat them. And we can just beat them three times in a row. Let's get it. Come on, boys. One last thing, actually, before we get to it. I've swapped up the bench, the substitutes. We have David, Amos, Muller, Ono Masayoshi, who hasn't played in about 10 episodes. We've got Milan Schmidt, the new youth lad who I was impressed with last episode. Sato and Cham. In the reserves, I've dropped Alex Alves, Felipe Andrade, Nkosi and Correa. These guys just aren't good enough. They're not good enough, bro. So, now we can start the episode. Come on. A very difficult match to predict the outcome of. The best defence in the league taking on the freest scoring side in the division. Who will prevail? Stay with us, you're watching EA TV. Hello, everyone. 
Now then, boys, we're getting towards the end of season six. There should only be like two or three more episodes, I think, in this season, depending on how the Champions League results go. So just make sure you follow me on Twitch, bro. Link in the description below. Make sure you turn on that notification bell on YouTube because I'm going to be doing a lot more content outside of FIFA soon. So just make sure the bell's on so you get notified when that drops and follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming a lot more once we bring an end to this series. Nice. Ibrahim Ishikawa linking up. Why well, has the pure like glare on my screen, bro? As if the sun's actually here. Nice. Devo! Is he offside? He is offside. It's nice play though. Nice spacing. Come on. That's what I like to see. Mistake there. Bergval get that. Unlucky. Rodri. Mistake. Devo. Ah, oh, lad. Win that doggy. That's all you, bro. Amos gets it in now. Ibrahim on the overlap. Is Ishikawa getting a strike? Big block Velasco. The way these men set up, it says it's a three-back formation, but their wingers act like wing-backs, you know? They come back on defence. So it's a really tough team to break them down on paper. It's not just, you know, the three-back that you see. It's actually more like a five-back. Oh, doggy out of position. Lad, these are such a good team. Big, well, what a recovery tackle that is. These are such a good team, though. I can't believe I've got to play them three times in a row. Oh, I'm going to lose all my hair, bro. It's going to fall out by the end of this little run. Especially when we're giving the ball away like that, referee, thank you. Why was Mark Gahey marking me there, lad? Hato. If there's ever a time for a Hato screamer, it's now, but it's not going to be today. <laughs> Come on. Now, why is Eddie Militar running through my team like that, lad? Come on. And moving the ball nicely. That's crazy, bro. How's Ede Militao just ran through my old team like that? Like, the AI are playing so good recently since this last patch. It's actually ridiculous. Demir, find that. What a ball, Devo! The great play! Come on, and look at this. We swapped formation at half time. Never doubt the tactics. I am Jose Mourinho. Yeah? Come on. Get that out. Big boy Amos on at the half as well. We hooked Amy because he was being trash first half. Here goes Mehmet Demir. Hold it up, bro. Nice. Bergval on support. Inside Bergval. Ishikawa! Big save, Simon. No way. It's still alive, though. Bergval on the edge. Ah, easy save for Simon. Come on, no. Yeah, we're cooking now. We're cooking now. I'm locked in. Come on. Yeah? Oh, man. Leverkusen, bro, you messed up. You have poked the bear. I'm awake now, referee. Get him off the pitch. Oh, that's a nice ball. Hato, what a block. Needed that. Oh. No, we had to win that. Got to save that, Schmidt. Got to save that, Schmidt. Got to save that, Schmidt. Are you kidding me, lad? How is this flying in, bro? Sato should got had to win, win that ball, bro. But look, lad. Come on, Schmidt. Come on, EA. It's bullshit, lad. Fucking bullshit. Why would he bend his wrist back there, lad? Oh, my God. Come on. That's a joke. That is a joke. This game's garbage. Oh my god, they, these are untouchable. I can't get near them. They're actually gliding. They're on roller skates, lad. Oh my god, Sato. Oh, lad, I can't get near them. You've got fucking infinity around them, lad. Six eyes. Oh, of course, unbelievable press. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Sato Fana. Devo's there. In the middle is Chan! Come on! Yeah! That's great! That is just great! 
split the four goals between them so far. Big ball! Big tackle, my captain. Sato into Devo and holding an LT to shield the ball, you prat. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be out. Referee, that was the longest advantage ever. Get a grip. Ref. Nah, this is... I can smell it. That was ridiculous, bro. They were just waiting for them to score. Obviously, we've dropped points again, which isn't ideal for the title charge. And I think that might be fully game over now for our title hopes. But, bro, the game's ridiculous. Did you see the two goals that they scored? Are you seeing, like, what's going on here? Compared to what we have to do to get a goal, lad. Never doubt the tactics, though. Trust the process, all of that, yeah. But, man, this game's frustrating. Leverkusen, of course, a great team. Now they are hard to play against, hard to break down with that, like, 3-slash-5 back that they have going on, bro, in the tactics. Because, like I say, it's a 3-back on paper, but it plays like a 5-back in-game, but then the wing-backs are actual wingers. So when they go forward, bro, it's hard to defend against. But we've got to play them again now in the Champions League, so let's just get straight into it. Quarter-final of the Champions League, first leg, we're playing it at home. Let's have it, Leverkusen, yeah. I think they're going unchanged, it looks like, yeah. Unchanged, but they've swapped around Vert and Rodrigo. I don't know why they've done that, and I don't know why I called him Rodrigo. But, and they've swapped around Militao and Gehi, that's weird. Let's do a press conference, because a few people are unhappy in our squad, and I don't know why. But let's get to it. Gonna start Henry over Benji in that six roll today. Come on. Now it's for real. The tactics and squad strengths have all been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you for all the action on EA TV. Quick start. Go on, Demir. Hustle, Demir. Against Rodri, that is as well. Ah, oh, big tackle, Militao. That Moses, man. Big body Moses, bro. But he gets, like, bodied himself all the time. It's crazy. Nah, there's a problem. Problematic. Problematic. Are you seeing what we're conceding, lad? Are you actually seeing the goals that we're conceding? These, man, yeah. They feel like they're on ice skates, bro. They just glide across this pitch, whereas my man is stuck in the mud, bro. A deflection. It's nice play. It's nice build up play. They walked it into our box. But, bro, the deflection goal, like, come on. That would never happen for us, lad. You know it's going out for a corner. Big tackle, doggy. Keep it in. What a tackle, that's outrageous, bro, nah. Actually, though. Crazy, crazy defending, lad. This game's outrageous. Oh, it's so hard. It's actually so hard to win, bro. I don't get it. Like, EA have completely ruined this whole career mode, lad. 70 episodes deep just for EA to shit on me head, lad. Ruin all my hard work over the year, lad. With this stupid gameplay. Demir. Demir. Devo! Who's shitting on who, lad? EA! Fuck you! Yeah? Come on! I'm locked in! Don't play with me, bro. I'm locked in. EA can try all he wants to ruin my life. But nah. Yeah. Ref, are you kidding me? That's the lightest thing I've ever seen. Me when I see the 50 kg dumbbells at the gym, bro. On Devo. Outrageous tackle. Well, then Demir. Mehmet Demir, man. He is such an unbelievable talent. Moses. Find that, Moses. Ishi. Ishi san. Ishi san. Ishi san! Yes! I'm locked in! I could snap at any moment! Madness! 
Let's go! Come on! I'm strapped in! I'll clap you in a coma! Madness! I can snap at any moment, I'm balling! I get highlights off and locking! Or now my spark, I'm face shot! I pop eyes, why I order madness! Let's go! Let's go! Well in Amos! Oh lad! New life in me today, man. This is new blood, call me Dexter Morgan. What are you sliding in for, you lad? Leggy? And Amos has it. Here's Amos. Got some room to carry you. Where are you running, Moses, lad? Give me that option, Moses. Give me that, Moses. Big strike, big save. Corner, though. Let's have it. Barton, lad, it's been about 20 weeks since you've assisted from a corner. Give me one right now. Give me one right now, Hato! <laughs> yes! I'm locked in! I could snap at any moment! Madness! Let's go, Hato! Come on! Who else? Yorel Hato! Barton assists from the corner! I've been saying all season how good Barton's corners are, how he's the best. <laughs> Come on, look at that, he beat two man to the jump and into the far post. You're El Hato, you are my hero. Come on. Let's have it, Leverkusen. I know it's two legs, but let's have it, lad. Yeah. That last game was a fluke, bro, at your ground. We're playing at my home right now. This is my domain. Yeah. Ryoki Tenkai. You know about that one there, lad? Malevolent Shrine. Ryoki Tenkai. Fukuma Mizushi. Big tackle, but that one's an advantage, yeah, leg it, ref. Well in, Henry, and he's kept it in, Henry, man. Henry, a most huge player. Ibrahim, Devo, hold it, Devo. Oh, take it, Devo! I'm locked in! I'll clap you in the coma! Madness! I can snap it any moment, the Glock is spitting. Ironic how the peace street ease, but I don't stop the killing. Shots is spilling. Shots is spilling. Come on! Let's go, man! Oh! Feeling it today, lad. I was gonna hold it for the overlap again to Moses, but I was like, nah. You know who this guy is? Robin Devo? Come on, man. Oh, lad. The adrenaline is pumping now. Leg it, Jota! Yeah, get back on your game, Jota! Demir! Over the top! Now we're exposing them. Devo inside. Ibrahim trying to knock it down to Ishii. Udogi quality as always. And here we go again, Demir. Here we go again, Demir. Devo. Devo to Moses. It's 5-1. By Leverkusen, do you know who I am? Do you know who I am, Leverkusen? Do not play with me right now. Not today. Not after what we've been through this season. See, lad, how is that going in, bro? Any shot they get on target just flies all the way in, bro. It's actually crazy to me. Like, I don't get how it's just flying like that. You know what I mean? This is actually wild, though, bro. I swear. Like, any shot on target, it's in. What's happened to our goalkeeper? Went from being, like, one of the best players in the team to just not being able to save a single thing. But Ishikawa's going to get us one back anyway, aren't you, Ishii-san? Aren't you, Ishii-san? Ha, ha, ha! 6-2 Get out of here Leverkusen, yeah? Oh no Masayoshi, what a pass that is! Oh no Masayoshi! Into Mehmet! What a save Simon! Oh lad, that could have been 7-2 That would have been massive for this second leg Devo, don't you dare get sent off, lad. You idiot, what were you thinking? Come on. Come on. Come on. What a win that was then. Going into the second leg, four goals up. I mean, the way this game goes, bro, it's entirely possible that these could score four passes in the next leg. So that's not even game over. Let's get to it. I think there's a league game in between. I'm just going to rotate now. Is it time to give up with the league? 
and just play all the youth lads? Is it time to give up? I don't know, man. Is it time to just focus fully on the champo? Ah, oh, I don't know. All right, we're playing Stuttgart, who are 14th in the league. Not that league position really matters. Uh, we got that one point against Leverkusen, which moved us above Leipzig by goal difference. We're in third place. We're still miles away from the title. 12 points off. 12 points off, bro. How, wait, how is it 12 now? When it was 9 before, lad, am I tripping? Oh, it was 10. I'm tripping. I was tripping. It was 10 points, wasn't it, at the start of the episode. So 12 points off the title, bro. Six games left. That is a big milestone, bro, to try and catch up. I think the league is gone. It's still not over till it's over, though. Let's get into the game against uh, whoever we're playing, Stuttgart. Gonna have to rotate a little bit. Let me save some players for the Champions League. Gonna put David in at left back. Muller plays centre back, who's actually a plus 10, so I'm guessing we should convert him to a centre back as his primary position. And Kosi on the right. We've got Amos Bergval midfield, Sato, Schmidt, and Uzen in the attack. <sighs> Let's get to it, man. I mean, obviously, it would be nice to win, but like I'm saying, the season pretty much looks like it might be gone and out of our reach now, so. A game that speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement. And two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off, even for a brief second. Next on EA TV. Let's go, man. Let's see if this youth squad can actually do something because we've left a few of the bums out. Chan, Sato, these man are the stars. We need them to perform here. Yeah. Big head, Hato. Lad, why is the referee wearing black, bro? I keep thinking he's on our team. Amos, can you find that pass, though? What a ball, Amos. What a ball, Amos. There's Nkosi. Inside his numbers, Chan, overlap, Milan Schmidt, come on, son, the youth lad, we promoted last episode, bro, I told you this lad had talent, this lad has a future at the Dream Chasers for sure, Milan Schmidt, man, what a player, the RDC overlap working perfectly there, winger into the striker, and then there's the overlap, Chan assist, Milan goal, very weird animation from the goalkeeper. I don't know what he was thinking, what he's smoking. All I know is that I'm locked in. I just went to check, actually, in case our boy Milan Schmidt was related to our goalkeeper Schmidt, but it's two completely different spellings. And if you like, if you were dyslexic, you probably wouldn't even recognise that, bro. Because, what? Well, I don't even know what the difference is. Wait, okay, one of them's got two Ts, one of them says DT. Sato. Get it, lad. You've got Nkosi up with you. He's the only one there. Have you got it in you, though? Oh, my God. Is he onside? Is he onside? What a goal. That is Nkosi. Sato assist. Sato, that pass was absolutely sensational, brother. I thought he was miles offside by the time he played it. Sato Junior, though, absolutely cooking. I think he's 86 overall now as well, which is new. That's just perfect time. And they've tried to play the offside trap there. And Nkosi, just a nice composed finish, you know? <laughs> we love to see that. Cooking with the youth squad. I never thought I'd say that in this season. <laughs> Especially not after the start. Well in, Muller. And Schmidt now as well. Ah, quality. Ah, lad, this is fun. This, you know, I'm actually having fun again. I got my joy back. Not when I try and pass to the ref for the ninth time this game, though. No. Bloody hell, ref. Put a different top on, lad. New subs onto the pitch now. New life. Have we got another goal in us here? Not when Muller's doing stuff like that. Big tackle though, Muller made up for that misplaced pass. And ball. Play on. Leonardo Correa. Oh, man. Alex Alves. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, Masayoshi, what a tackle. Here's Schmidt again, holding it up. Oh, lovely Schmidt. He's fed Amos. He's fed Henry Amos! It's Benji Amos, not Henry Amos. Why do I always get their first names mixed up now, bro? Big body Benj. Another assist there. Is that for Milan Schmidt? Bro, he's the truth. He really is the truth. That's Benji's first goal of the season as well. We love to see it. 
obviously he's our you know deep lying playmaker number six ball winning midfielder as well so he doesn't really get involved with the goals much but he'll always pick up one or two in the season Andrade and Alves linking up nicely now. Alex Alves, can you find that pass through into Milan Schmidt? Oh, lad, that was such a simple ball. It wasn't really. It was quite a tough pass, but Alves made it look even harder than it was. What a save, Schmidt. Keeping that clean sheet intact. 3-0 away from home. The league pretty much out of reach right now, but a solid performance there. And that's a glimpse of things to come in the future. You know, Milan Schmidt, star of that game there. Janis Muller starting in centre-back as well. A tough role for the young lad Muller in centre-back, but Hato didn't even really have to carry him, bro. He held his own there. You can question a lot of my decisions in this career mode, especially not making any signings in January when I feel like we probably should have or we would have benefited from that. Maybe at least a backup striker. You know, but I definitely think there's some like decisions that you have to applaud me for this season. Not even like trying to be big headed, but keeping Chan Uzen was a great decision, bro. Chan's redemption this season has been great. His potential's maxed out at 83. You know, he's not growing much, but in game, bro, since his loan and he's come back with his new stats, he is so good. Channels and yeah, Sato Jr. as well cooking into the player I'd like to see. And even just these youth lads, Janus Muller, Milan Schmidt, solid performances from those two there in that game, and the future's bright for the Dream Chasers, you know. Well, back to it then, the second leg of the Champions League quarter final against Bayer Leverkusen. I want to see what the other games are looking like after the first leg. So City 3-2 up against Celtic. Inter Milan, Real Madrid 1-1 in their first leg, and then PSG, Bata and Dynamo Kiev 5-2 in their first leg. Let's get into the second legs, man. See who we might be playing in the semi-finals. Wow, Leverkusen tired as well for this one. Low fitness. Again, they swapped a few players around. Rodrigo and Vert swapped again. I hate saying Rodrigo, bro, but I just keep reading his name like that. Rodri and Vert swapped around. Cole and and Adli have swapped around too, I believe. But yeah, Reina, Velasco... Acting as their wing-backs. Tired, bro. Maybe they'll rotate once the game starts. Play Frimpong and Grimaldo. Which I don't understand, bro. Frimpong and Grimaldo in real life is Bayer Leverkusen's guys. So why are they not playing right now in this career mode? And why are they don't have a formation with full-backs? I don't get it. Any Or wing-backs, anyway. So we should be at full stamina, I think. Most people, anyway. Only one who's not really is David and Schmidt. So let me bring up Alex Alves to the bench just in case. Probably won't get any game time him anyway, but yeah, unchanged from that last game, I believe, in the first leg when we battered them. And let's get into it, man. Come on. The cameras are fixed to one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Just don't lose. That's the message to the team before this game. Just don't lose and we'll be good. In fact, we can lose it. We could lose, bro. It could be 1-0 and we'll still win. Just don't lose. 5-0. That's the message to the team before this game and the way we're playing right now. On fire, in the zone. I can't see 5-0 happening, bro. Ishikawa sending men to the shop already. Here goes Amos now. Who's he looking for? Reset, Amy. Barton just playing with it now, standing on it. Devo. Ah, oh, Mark Gahey, man, he's class, isn't he? Lovely ball, Ishikawa. Moses, can he find it? Devo! Oh, unlucky. Nearly made it 7-2, come on. Oh, we're cooking. There's no way this ends 5-0 to them. Cut to the montage now of us. Just can see them five in a row. <laughs> Moses, did he just leave the ball then? What happened there? See, bro, why could we not play like this in the league against them? Literally nothing changed on my end anyway. It was literally just the gameplay that changed. It's crazy. EA flipped the switch. They didn't want us to win the Bundesliga this season for, for, for whatever reason, lad. I don't know. Maybe they've been paid off by Dortmund. I don't know, lad. Oh, 
Oh, big tackle. I thought I gave away a pen there, I can't lie. Oh, Moses. <laughs> Stop it, Moses. Moses be causing earthquakes with his strides, you know, I swear to God. And big Val, my captain, to put it to bed. Mehmet Demir to put it to bed. I'm locked in. I could snap at any moment. Madness. I'll slap you in a coma. <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. Come on. Shots are filling. Shots are filling. Blades swinging like the fan when the top is spinning. It's either this pill or this uh, max are selling. Now I'm tripping. It's a... Mehmet Demir, bro. Lad, my boy Noah said it best. He's like a weird mix hybrid of an 8 and a 10. Gundogan-esque, bro. Half Turkish as well. Like, he's just him. He's the best. Demir, find that Ishikawa. Ishi-san, what a tackle. Right, we're five goals up and I could go right now. So I think it's time to give some lads a chance again. You know, let's bring on Sato. Let's bring on Chan up front again, because Chan will actually be doing business there. Let's bring on Yanis Muller as well. You know, I like to give some these players some game time in, like, on the big stage. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. On the big stage, bro, give them some Champions League experience playing against the best players in the world. I'll bring on Ono Masayoshi for Bergwell as well. Oh, Yanis Muller, bro, even on the big stage, he's putting in work. Come on. We've got some stinky youth players at this club, but we've got some real gems as well. Do we have one more in us? Sato! Oh, big save. Referee, do the honours. Send us through to the Champions League semi-finals. Let's go, boys. Oh, my days, bro. The way this league's been going, the Bundesliga, I thought we'd be getting knocked out of this competition too. Both... We've battered one of the best sides in Germany right there. Let's see who we've got next round. So, City and Celtic drew 2-2. Mean and City win by one goal, 5-4 on aggregate. Man City, the first team through to the semi-finals alongside the German Dream Chasers. The other two games yet to be played. I'll give you an update as soon as I can on those games. So, in the rest of the quarterfinals, then PSG ended up beating Dynamo Kiev 8-2 on aggregate. Crazy score. But then again, we beat Leverkusen 7-2 on aggregate. Inter beat Real Madrid 2-1 in the second leg, meaning Inter win 3-2 on aggregate. And the semi-final draw has been done. I used to like it when EA put Everton into their game and used to watch the guy pull the name out of the hat. Well, not out of the hat, but pull the ball out of the bowl. You know what I mean? And then you could see you were playing, bro. But apparently they don't, they don't do that anymore, I guess. You know, that was too much effort for EA to put in the game. Just copy and paste the code from last year. But let's see who we play in the semi-finals. It's going to be Inter. It's going to be Inter Milan in the semi-finals. The other game being Man City versus PSG. The best team in Italy right now, Inter Milan. They beat Real Madrid, bro. So you know they're going to be good. Because think about how stacked Real Madrid are in career mode. PSG, Man City, that'll be a great game in the other leg. But we've got to play Inter Milan. Let's see whereabouts that game is. So we have two league games to end off the month of April. And then we have the two Champions League games with three games left in this month of May. And then it's the final in June if we make it there. So we're really close to the end of Season 6, boys, of the Dream Chasers career mode. And I said it was going to be the end of the, the career mode, you know, once we get to the end of Season 6. No matter whether we win the league or win the Champions League or not. And it might still be, bro, because I've been stressed this season. However... This episode right here has actually redeemed my love for this career mode, you know, because I have had so much fun in today's episode. So I just hope that we can end the season strong because honestly, I wanted to give up this whole career mode like before season six even started. I wanted to just give it up, but I didn't want to have a Game of Thrones season eight where, you know, one of your favorite series of all time just has the worst ending possible. And I know a lot of people like and enjoy and support this series, so I didn't want to screw you guys over by giving it a bad ending, you know, and leave a sour taste in your mouth Come when it comes, like, pause, uh, you know what I mean? But when it comes to my channel and my content, but like I say, I do want to get away from FIFA content a little bit, you know, play some more games, Elden Ring, Genshin, other single player games that I play over on Twitch, make some content about them on the YouTube channel, but yeah. I don't know, man. With how fun this season, like, has been all in, even though I've been raging for a few episodes, with how fun today's episode was, 
There's definitely a future for the Dream Chasers, man. And, like, it would be a shame to end it right now after this season. You know, players like Milan Schmidt, Janis Muller, I want to see what they can actually get to, bro. So, it might even be a case of, like, once season six ends, there's, like, a big break on the channel. And I'll just play a few seasons off camera. Bit like One Piece Naruto, you know, we get a little time skip. I play, like, two, three, four seasons off camera with this squad and then by the time we come back Milan Schmidt will be 85 rated and then we can go and win the treble you know what I mean but yeah I don't know that's just me thinking I was gonna just end this episode but there's a little rant for you as a little insight into my psyche right now but yeah if you haven't made it this far in the video and you watched all of this outro I appreciate it for real like comment share subscribe you know the vibes I'll catch us next time man take it easy